Hi, I'm Jenny of thegreeneyedmama.com, coming to you today as part of the Thursday installment of Vlogging Mommies. Three other lovely ladies are joining us every Thursday and talking about a topic. Today we are talking about being a first-time mom. So my question to you, were you surprised? Was it eye-opening? Did you learn something about yourself in being a mom? That's what I'm talking about today. I struggled to have kids. It took us eight years. So when I finally had my son in my arms for the first time, I didn't want to let go. He was absolutely everything I had hoped he was going to be. I remember counting each little finger and toe. I remember staring at his little dimple that my husband also has. I just, I was in complete and utter awe of him. He was beautiful. And then we got home. <laughs> I had trouble breastfeeding. He cried and was up every two hours, sometimes less than that. He didn't sleep, you know, um, real quick. He, he was not a, a quick sleeper like some of these babies that I hear about. Um, you know, I, I learned that you couldn't just walk out the door. You had to throw just an ungodly amount of stuff into a diaper bag to go anywhere. So it was quite an adjustment. Do I look back at those times now with my second child and laugh? You better believe it. Um, I was absolutely just um, amazed at the difference in first child versus second child. Second child, as long as they're not bleeding, not really hurt, or you know, screaming their head off, you just kind of roll with it. With my first child, I walked on eggshells. I was a nervous wreck. You know, I ran around after everyone who wanted to hold my baby with you know hand sanitizer. Um, if he sneezed or if he had the sniffles or if I was overly concerned, we became best friends with the pediatrician. My son was, um, you know, a learning experience. My husband and I had to readjust our lives to becoming parents. We learned that, um, you know, motherhood and becoming parents and as a couple, you know, you had to change and you had to reevaluate. My husband and I loved being parents. We wouldn't change that for the world. But everything that you read in books, this elaborate birth plan that I wrote, all of that went out the window the moment my son came home. I remember just staring at him and thinking how perfect he was. And then he had a huge blowout. Um, you know, he would sleep in his sweet little cradle and he would soak the sheets. Or, um, you know, I remember trying to warm up the water for his formula and I somehow managed to spill half the pot all over the counter. Um, I remember the sleepless nights, the, um, <laughs> the first time he really did have an illness and being in a panic and truly, you know, overreacting. But we learned together and I wouldn't change that for the world. So my thoughts on being a first time mom? Everything you think you know, everything you read in a book, or, you know, the great advice that you get from, you know, moms, aunts, grandmas, or your girlfriends, none of that applies until you have your baby in your arms and you find out what works for you. All right, guys, next week we are talking about back to school. And if you don't have school-age children, what does it take for you to get out the door? Do you have to pack up a bunch of stuff or do you just grab your purse and go? What does it take for you to get out the door with your little one? We want your tips. Let's talk back to school next Thursday. Join us. We have a link at the bottom of this page. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on being a first time mom? Share with us. We want you to join us and be a part of us. Join the vlogging mommies. Thanks guys.